Hello beta testers, I've decided to start an Avengers meme series where I showcase memes for this game. Most of these are going to be ones that I've created, but if you'd like to submit some, the Discord link's in the description. Happy two week anniversary by the way. True to this game's frankly pathetic form, February 9th was when this game was patched to lock challenge modes and make some achievements impossible. They increased grind by removing the ability to complete challenges in the harm room, pretty much invalidating the harm room, and they broke some perks so that they won't activate <laughs> in true Crystal Dynamics fashion. I mean, you'd think the developers making the game worse after six months couldn't be done, but Crystal Dynamics rises to the occasion. And they really want you to buy that next gen update too, man. Can you imagine, like if you went to hell and somehow you got out, but somebody told you, hey man, you know the lighting has really been enhanced since the last time you were there, and I can offer you these glasses that won't burn, so you'll be able to see better in hell. It's still hell. <laughs> when Marvel's Avengers hasn't changed what's made it so unappealing six months ago, and hasn't demonstrated any accountability in addressing or apologizing for making players their unwitting beta testers, you can find a fuck and suck it. You can find a fuck and suck it dynamics, find a fuck and suck it. People's games getting erased, data still corrupting out here. I still get comments from people stuck on missions in the campaign. And you think they'll come back for your worst incarnation of Spider-Man? That you'll drop in what, like two months maybe? So he can be limited in how high he can swing in your bunker storming simulator? Are you gonna make him ugly too? Actually, you know what will be hilarious? Is if Sony made damn sure Spider-Man came correct and looked beautiful as it contrasted all the other ugly Avengers in your game. If they straight up resisted your poisonous design and forced y'all to make him pay proper respect to his comic book and film counterparts. Either way, man, we can't wait to see how this unfolds. Crystal Dynamics. With respect, your disgraceful silence following your further breaking of an already broken product is seppuku on a level many of us thought impossible. You have skillfully assassinated your own studio and any potential at favor from fans in the future. Whereas Bethesda can claim that it dug itself out of the nuke-sized crater that Fallout 76 left, there's no coming back from this. Not from the bad faith that you've established. Like in a Telltale game, the players will remember that. But Crystal Dynamics, I owe you gratitude. A thank you. I needed this amusement. Daft Punk recently announced their retirement and that shit hit me hard. I remember banging their tracks on a CD player at internet cafes, sipping balls energy drink and playing Halo. Those were experiences I wouldn't trade for the world, but I guess shit changes. Things die. <laughs> and if we're lucky, we grow. With, with Daft Punk though, I can't help but wonder why they just didn't say anything. Let us at least have the hope that maybe one day they drop some more tracks. I'm a musician and a vocalist and music is my biggest outlet. Gaming comes in at a close second. This game has taken something away from all of us. It took hope. Not necessarily for this bitch ass game to be good. It sucks, you know, a lot of us can deal with that. But you took the hope of a game like this ever being made and ever being successful. A destiny with the Marvel coat of paint could have been successful, but they chose you. And you were not the studio for this. Maybe if you went single player only, do you get what I'm saying? It's just the way that all of this turned out. You know, outlets are so important. It's like a full bladder, you know? You can only go so long without relieving yourself. But the worst thing you can do is add more, compound the, the stress when we're supposed to be relieving it. Listen everybody, I love you. And what I want you to do is have fun. As gamers, we play for that dopamine, for the camaraderie, uh, you know, even if it's a solo thing, we play for an experience. There's a demo for a game coming out tomorrow called Outriders that has crossplay and is free 
and and it looks impressive from what i'm understanding the demo is not timed so you can play it until the game launches and progress will carry over as well did i mention this cross play so if you're on pc ps4 ps5 xbox xbox one x you can play with each other the way that games in this day and age should have been i'm, I'm just saying if you're like me you know, I didn't know much about this game, and when I looked it up, I saw, you know, content from months and months ago, so I, I guess if they've had this time to build and update and fine-tune this experience, then that's good. I love Genshin Impact and how fleshed out and rich the world is. I love the synergy of the elemental abilities in combat, creating these combined explosions when two of the elements clash. It's like battery damage in this game, but it looks a hell of a lot better. But I could never truly recommend Genshin to most people, not just because it's a gacha game, but because I know a lot of people don't have self-control. I know my man Godslave drops way too much money on skins all the time, and it's his money, you know, his disposable income, he can use it how he wants, but, you know, gotcha game, it's gambling, homie, it's not like you're even specifically getting what you want, they want you to keep rolling in the hopes that you're gonna get something that you want, but look, this Outriders game right now looks a hell of a lot more complete than Avengers is after six months. So, I'm not gonna try to sell you on it, but I would like you to join me as I play it with Dia tomorrow. There's also a PlayStation State of Play tomorrow, so you can join us to watch that and see what good games may be finally coming down the pipe, man. And we need some of that. We need some good news. In the interest of saving you time, if you're interested in Outriders, it's like a destiny, but the progression seems a little, a little sexier, like it can offer a bit more. There's four classes, you got a Pyromancer, Technomancer, Trickster, and a Devastator. Pyromancer is like your warlock, a mage, like a DPS AOE guy. He's uh, great in a crowd. He's kind of like a Sunsinger warlock if you play Destiny. Um, you know, you when, when you hear warlock, if you've done something like this, you get it already. The Technomancer is more like an all-around class. Uh, he has a turret that he can deploy, so think like uh, Commando from Borderlands. He's got ice abilities, he's got poison abilities, great for damage over time. He can summon rockets, summon uh, a machine gun on the fly, all kind of shit. And you can spec the class however you want. The trickster is all about high mobility. So think like your hunter or your assassin that's getting in and out. He's your uh, high risk, high reward, get in to do damage type class. Slows down time, uh, teleports, all kind of bullshit. And your devastator is your tank, your titan, your heavy defense aggro grabber he's the big dick kyle who's gonna be grabbing all that attention demanding all eyes on him so the rest of your corny ass team can do that damage you know what i mean what i like though about this game is um how you regain health you need to be out there destroying people to get that health back when you kill people you get the health back you know how in avengers when you're hulk and you use rage you can regain the health while you're doing the damage well imagine if it was just like that but your rage is always active you know fucking intrinsic meter fuck getting health packs and stuff like that as long as you are killing you're getting that health back this aggressive mentality is uh something that i i'm really liking the look of from from the outside so come join dia and i watch us uh you know try different classes get our perspectives on it like i said uh it doesn't seem to be the time demo so we can make one of every class if we damn well please and then that progress will carry over to the main game which sounds delightful love you catch you guys later submit those memes for the proper episode one and we'll go from there